Welcome to the Nightly News. I'm Cynthia. And I'm Jill. Today is Wednesday, December 10th, 2014, and today is an A-Day. And this is KNN. Wednesdays are wonderful. At this time, will you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today for your dining pleasure at the Cafe de la Frise, you will enjoy popcorn chicken wrap bar, oven fried chicken with homemade wheat roll, homemade ra or mini ravioli with marinara sauce and homemade wheat roll, pinto beans, steamed corn, garden salad, pineapple tidbits, and seasonal fresh fruit. Thanks, Cynthia. And now it's time for an interesting fact for today. On this day in 1830, Emily Dickinson was born in Amherst, Massachusetts. Only seven of her works were published when she was alive. The Snowflake Fling Winter Dance is this Friday after school from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. Tickets are on sale in homeroom this morning for $3. Tickets will be $4 at the door, so make sure you get yours in homeroom this week. If you need your ID made, please do not wait until Friday morning and lose the chance for a discounted ticket. See Ms. Burr or Ms. Hill in the Media Center before the morning of the dance to purchase your new one. Don't forget to purchase your yearbook. The price is $32 until February 2nd. You may get a form from Mrs. Gladden in room 714 during homeroom, or you may order online by going to the Quick Links tab on the JM Freeze homepage. Don't wait too late to get yours. Check out the confectionery masterpiece outside the cafeteria all week. Vote for your favorite with cash donations. Winners will be announced on Friday. All proceeds will go to Opportunity House. Also stay tuned for our second try at a video from Saturday's building session. Robotics Club will meet tomorrow from 4.15 to 5.30. Prior to staying, please be 100% positive that your ride can pick you up at 5.30, not 5.45 or 6 o'clock, 5.30. Congratulations to the Hickory Ridge Lady Mavericks for their 50 to 13 win over Cece Griffin yesterday. The girls finished 10 to 0 in the regular season. Alexa Smith had another great game, rebounding and scoring nine points. Alexa and the Mays will play Thursday at home in the first round of the tournament. Good luck, Alexa. An inhaler was found in the STEM hallway. If you are missing your inhaler, please see Mrs. Zalonis. And now please stand by for Dr. Zanensky's announcements and words of wisdom. <laughs> Good morning, Noble Knights. Congratulations first to Priya, Bryce, and Justice, who competed last evening in the local Cabarrus County Soil and Water Conservation Competition. Justice took first place in the sixth grade essay competition. Priya took first place in the eighth grade speech competition, and Bryce took second place in the seventh grade speech competition. Congratulations to all three of those students. And now for a few words of wisdom. Today's words of wisdom align with the learner profile trait of being open-minded. How many of you have heard of Mary McLeod Bethune? She was an un unstoppable advocate for the education of minority children and a personal friend of President and Mrs. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Her life has been honored with a memorial in Washington, D.C., where these words of encouragement are described, words that leave her mark on the world. I leave you love. I leave you hope. I leave you a thirst for education. I leave you faith. I leave you also a desire to live harmoniously with your fellow man. We can all be inspired by this one woman's vision of hope. Today, ask yourself this, what mark do I want to leave on the world? With something to think about, this is Mrs. Szymanski. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.